Yay! Yay! Hi. 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 Good to see you. What's your name? She's been sitting here. Is it our turn yet? Is it our turn? Yet? <laughs> I know. I was waiting too. What what's your name? What's your name? Sophia. <gasps> Sophia. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> that is a nice blue. Blue is loving you, hugging her right now. Yep. He's very happy. <laughs> so my first question to you ladies is. Um, you guys pretty much started the whole animation of like different textiles and textures of like the felt and everything that is kind of popular nowadays. So you were trailblazers back when I was a kid. Doing that. But what, um, what issues or anything did you run into that you had to overcome when, when first making Blue's Clues 25 years ago? Well, all those, you have to talk about the art department and what that, all those. Yeah, I items. think uh, just technically, if we're, we're talking about animation and the challenges, you know, we were the first show to be done on Apple computers um, in, the, uh, in uh, the After Effects program. And we wanted to, in the, all the ways we were breakthrough from the way we talk to kids, to our music and the design, the animation, you know, we love the idea of having those real textures and crafty feel like, you know, that preschoolers work with and a part of their lives that they want to reach out and touch. So we shot everything in with um, digital cameras and then brought it into Photoshop and then animated it on the Apple Like laptops. all the elements are handmade, little beautiful dollhouse versions of mm -hmm. everything that you see. And so that was our favorite part of when people would come visit us, that we could open those drawers and, and you could see, see all the, all the, the skidoo things. frame and the little felt frame and all those items. That's cool. Did you guys keep any of those? Um, we, yes, I have the original skidoo frame hanging up. Yep. They're, everything's tiny. We made things very miniature. So when you photograph them, you could really see the little thumbprints and all the detail in it, like a, in a dollhouse. That's amazing. You ladies are a powerhouse. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. It's your turn. Yay! Yay! I'm going to ask him. Sophie, are you going to ask the question? What's your favorite episode? Oh, oh my God. That's a good question. I think Tracy's favorite is every time, every episode, because she gets to be blue. <laughs> right? But we've been, we've been asked this question a lot. And I think we, we go to the first episode of what um, each host premiere episode. So snack time with Steve and getting to see how they use their own talents and connecting with the audience and, you know, building the world around them and how they relate to the different characters. I love, I definitely, we do love snack time. Sophia, what's your favorite? Magenta. Uh, ah! I love her too. <laughs> magenta. We love magenta. Magenta. <laughs> See, for me growing up, magenta was very important because, you know, I have glasses. And magenta oh, was the best episode. That's so great. So, yeah, we love her. And the magenta. video letter with glasses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My little helper, she left me. Oh, <laughs> nice. I'm done. Um, <laughs> but um, my youngest, Sophia, and I, we dropped off my oldest daughter to the bus stop for the first time ever today. Oh, and then, congratulations. That's hard. <laughs> I cried. Um, then we came home and we screened story time with Blue. Oh. In that episode, it discusses Blue's going to school with magenta and what they did and it really helped my youngest mm -hmm. you know get over her sadness and give her something to do while her sister is at school and understand um, it right understand what she's doing so you can see it exactly but this also 25 years ago this did the same thing for me in my pivotal moments of my life so i would like to know how does it feel you know, seeing and hearing all of the impacts that this show has had on people over the last 25 years, which that is a long time for a show, which is amazing. So I would like to know from you ladies. <laughs> Just sorry. I know, I can't, I can't. You know, again, when you write something from your heart and, you, and you're like- Put it out in the world. Put it out in the world and knowing that that is so helpful, you know, and um, still is so helpful. 
and loved uh, feels it, there's nothing like it. You yeah. know, I, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's all like the, watching your kids grow up. Yeah, it <laughs> is. It's, it's all the feels, right? It's all that like feeling humble, feeling grateful, feeling proud, mm -hmm. uh, feeling that happy, sad of like you know, good sadness, good tears. Um, but it's, it's just, um, and all that work, right? Like we wanted kids to be able to visualize school and to know what it looks like and feels like for, you know, all the reasons, you know, and I think that again, like every episode, we have that point of view, like what it is that we want to say and what we want kids to take away with yeah. and the tools that we want them to have. Right. So like, again, as, and knowing that it's, kids know the names of the planets because of our song like there's so many things like that that are just like well yeah right. I mean, my Working. daughter's going to school <laughs> knowing some of the stuff she knows because of you guys because she sat yeah. down and watched blue clues and, nice. and you know not to geek out we do have longitudinal studies to prove that kids are statistically significantly smarter when they watch blue clues that's amazing well, <laughs> my, my kids how are she how is she feeling going to school was, was it a hard <clears throat> She, the bus pulled up and she said, bye mom. Bye, mom. <laughs> and she That's ran off the bus. She's That's hundred good. percent prepared. Yeah, she feels job. good. She feels now, good. when she comes home after being, you know, away for the amount of time that she's going to be away, we'll see how she still feels after that. She wasn't, she didn't understand that school was going to be every day. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> one one event. day. So we'll see when she gets home. Hi, Sophia. But, but I wanted to end by just saying thank you so much to you two and everybody that worked on Blue's Clues. You guys have an amazing show. And I, you know, here's to many, many, many more years of watching the show. Cheers thank to you. that. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> Love it. This last question actually comes from my daughter who is in school right now. Love she it. wanted me to ask you. She loves Josh's Lola. And she. Oh, that's so lovely to hear. Are there going to be more shows that um, uh, have Lola on them, or will uh, dip more into the Fina Filipino culture? Yes. yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> we love Lola too, and we love the family um, aspect, aspect of grandma coming and over and Josh's culture and just the yep. culture in general just really embracing all of it right yep. it's so important at the end of the day every all family celebrating all families all generations yep we'll be skidooing to the Philippines and then we go to the Philippines yep and Lola will be coming back we even meet some of Josh's cousins oh my daughter will be so excited <laughs> oh, that's the dynamic she well because her our grandpa her grandparents come and stay often at our house so over the weekends we have multi-generations over here oh so that's beautiful. beautiful yeah that is beautiful lola comes on there and just the interaction between josh and the love and everything that yeah. is yeah it is nice to have another um, live action human in there too, to throw in, right? Because you see that connection and that real love that's there. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, ladies. Thank, thank you. you.